Benny and the Birthday Berries. This is a character building story about self-control. And one thing we learn about self-control is it's stopping yourself when it is best for you and others. In Agape Land, the sun was shining and everyone was very excited. Today was Herbert the Snail's birthday and the animals had planned a surprise party. The bullfrogs were blowing up balloons, Bouncer Rabbit had painted a birthday banner and the squirrels were helping him hang it from a tree. Herbert's mother was putting a tablecloth on the party table. Oh dear, Mrs. Snail fussed, I do hope we have enough desserts to eat. Let's see now... The Niz family was going to bring some honey. In another part of the forest, someone was bringing a dessert. A roly-poly little fellow named Benny Bear. He strolled along a bubbly agape land brook, feeling just as happy as the bubbly water sounded. Benny loved parties, and he had waited for this one all week. On his arm, Benny carried a big basket of delicious fiddleberries. Now remember, Benny, his mother had said when he left home, these berries are for the party dessert, so keep your paws out of the basket. Yes, Mama, Benny had promised. As he walked along the stream, Benny started thinking about the party and the berries. A couple of times he peeked inside the basket. I have to make sure they're okay, he said to himself. Every time he opened the basket, the wonderful berry smell came out. It floated up to his nose. Mmm, 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 yeah, yum, he thought. They do smell good. I'm sure it wouldn't matter if I eat just one. He dug his paw into the basket and pulled out the biggest one he could find. He swirled it around in his mouth with his tongue. It was de delicious. Benny thought again, Oh, just one more won't hurt. And so he had another, and another, and still another. Before he knew it, Benny had eaten all the berries in the basket. Suddenly the little bear realized what he had done. Oh, no, he moaned. There are no more berries left for the party. What am I going to do? Poor Benny slumped under a tree and began to cry. Just about then, a fuzzy golden caterpillar named Scooter was scooting along under the tree. Suddenly, he found himself in a rather large rainstorm. Oh, dear, Scooter sighed. If I'd known about this weather, I would have brought an umbrella to Herbert's party. Scooter looked up. That's funny, the sun is shining, but I still feel raindrops. Splash, another salty tear hit Scooter right in the face. Say, that's not rainwater, said the caterpillar. Benny Bear, so it's you raining on me. Between giant sobs, Benny explained, Oh, Scooter, I did a bad thing. I was carrying berries to Herbert's birthday party, but I ate them all up. Now I have nothing to bring. My, my, you do have a problem, Scooter said. But it's bigger than an empty basket. Now pay attention, my young friend, and I'll tell you what you need. And with that, Scooter began to dance with his many little feet and sing a song which sounded like this. <laughs> Self makes too much noise, self will fight the boys if it doesn't have control. Self will throw a fit, self will never quit if it doesn't have control. Self will never wait, self will think it's great if it doesn't have control. Too much food. 
Understand self control, Scooter asked. Yes, now I do, said Benny, but I still don't have any berries to take to the party. Oh, dear, you're right, Scooter sighed. He scratched his antenna. Say, wait a minute, look over there. Benny looked where Scooter was pointing. There, just behind a tree, was a fiddleberry bush. It was filled with the biggest, juiciest berries Benny had ever seen. Benny jumped up and started picking berries. He picked as many as he could fit into the basket. Soon it was full. Benny almost celebrated by eating some of the berries, uh, but he remembered to use self-control. Come on, Scooter, Benny said. You can ride in my basket, too. We have to hurry. We don't want to miss dessert at the party. And he ran on down the pathway. When Benny got to the meadow, the party had already started. All the animals had yelled, Surprise! And Herbert the snail had gotten scared and hidden inside his shell for a minute. But since Herbert was so slow and patient, Benny hadn't missed any of the games or food. He carried the berry basket over to the dessert table. Oh, I'm so glad to see those berries, said Herbert's mother. And there's plenty for everybody. Yes, there was. Thanks to Scooter and his lesson on self-control. Mr. Thorn would honk his horn when the traffic got too slow. The awful blare would fill the air until his turn to go. Honk, 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 honk. Susie was not true. Snoozy, 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 sno
way to 